university. So we had this bill passed by uh, by Florida that basically says you can't teach something like you you, you can't teach uh, issues around sexual orientation and gender and things like that to really really young kids. And I'm not going to get into the details of the law because I don't know them. I haven't studied it. I haven't looked at it carefully. And I don't want to talk out of turn, but it basically relates to the teaching of sex uh, to young children. I don't think young children should be taught in school anything about sex. Uh, I think sex education is not part of school. I think sex education should be left to parents. I think sex education should be left to parents to decide. Um, this is a problem of our public schools, the existence of government schools or public schools and unified curriculum, because I don't think, I don't think the state, the government, should be invested one way or another in sex education. I don't think there is such a thing as age appropriate. Who gets to decide what's age appropriate? Age appropriate for whom? For what kid? For what kind of experience? For what kind of life they've had? Who gets to decide what's age appropriate? So I am skeptical of the whole issue of trying to bring sex education of any kind of format, creating age-appropriate standards and teaching it. So I'm against all of it. So, uh, you know, I don't know the details of this bill, so I don't know if I'm for it or against it, but generally I'm against teaching sex to kids in school, not the job of schools. So Florida has banned the teaching of certain sex education classes in schools. I don't know there should be a hygiene class in school. But Frank says sex is taught in hygiene class. I don't know if there should be a hygiene class in school. None of that is the job of the schools. All of that is the job of, of, of parents. So Florida passed a bill that says none of this gender, sexual orientation stuff for really young kids should be introduced in the classroom. Okay, government shouldn't be in schooling if it is. These are disastrous issues to deal with in private school education. Every school can have its own policies. Teach it, parents can choose which school to send their kids to. They can make the choices about sex education and who should provide it. Um, with government schools, government should not be involved. So Florida decided that they're not going to teach it. Fine. I, again, not having reviewed the bill in detail, I don't have a strong opinion one way or the other. Disney, uh, the largest, I think it's the largest employer in the state of Florida. Um, Disney came out with a statement saying they disapprove of the state doing this. That they think it's a mistake for the state to do this. That they think it's important to keep this, whatever the education was, whatever the standards were. Again, Disney's probably wrong on this. Disney's probably mistaken. So what? Republicans for years, to their credit, one of the good things Republicans have been doing, to their credit for years and years and years have been arguing that corporations have free speech. Citizens United, one of the most important cases in front of the Supreme Court, decided in a positive way by the Supreme Court over the last 20, 30 years was Citizens United, which basically recognized that you cannot limit corporate contributions to campaigns because contributions by corporations constituted speech and therefore and they had free speech rights major 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 statement it, it doesn't matter why disney said what they did it doesn't matter because the employees went crazy it doesn't matter if the management are crazy it doesn't matter it, disney came out with the statement so what? Corporations, just like individuals, many Floridians disagree with the law. I think most Floridians agree with the law. Many disagree with the law. Should we penalize the people who disagree with the law? Disney came out against it. DeSantis went apeshit. How dare they disagree with this law? How dare Disney, a business, 
say that the law is wrong. Whether the law is right or wrong is irrelevant. Um, and as a consequence of Disney speaking up against the law, DeSantis and the Florida legislature has now taken away, I don't know, the special uh, provision that allowed Disney World to basically have governance over the properties. Uh, Disney World is not part of any county. It's not part of any city. It's his own city. It's his own county run by a corporation. There, by the way, 1,800 of these different agreements with businesses around the state of Florida. Florida has taken this away from Disney. Now, many think this will cost taxpayers a billion dollars because now a lot of things that Disney was doing, like infrastructure on its properties, now counties and localities will have to do. So there's a lot of complexity around the actual financial consequences of this and who is going to suffer and who is going to be good. But the fact is that Disney was penalized from the perspective of Florida for disagreeing with the governor, for disagreeing with the state legislature. They are penalized for speech. Now, this is horrific. This is awful. I mean, DeSantis here is acting out like the worst fascist leftist possible. He's using government to penalize business for speech. Now, he's been hailed as a hero by conservatives. It is hailed as a hero by conservatives. Why? Because he's standing up to the left. Because he's fighting the good fight. Here's uh, one conservative writing. DeSantis made the right call when he went after Disney. The only way these corporations are going to start to respect conservatives again, instead of taking us for granted, is if we give them a reason to do it. That is... What's important here is that corporations respect conservatives. What's important here is they appreciate that we have power. What's important here is that business grovel before the state. How are conservatives here better than Democrats? How is the right here better than the left? This is no different then all the efforts by left and right to break up big tech, to bring big business to heal, to heal before whom? Before the state, before politicians, before government. This isn't freedom. This is fascism. It's exactly this is why I'm not a DeSantis fan. Yeah, he fights the left. By using the left's means, by using the left's methodology, he fights the left by becoming the left. He fights collectivism by becoming a collectivist. So I'm not a DeSantis fan. I wasn't before this. Now I'm much less of a DeSantis fan. There's no respect for free speech. No respect for free speech. You think it's just the woke left that's a problem? Here's the woke right. You don't act like we expect you to act, we'll cancel you. You think only the left can cancel? No, no. We on the right can cancel as well. That's what you're getting from DeSantis. That's what you're getting from the future of the Republican Party. We are royally, royally screwed in this country. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. 
show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.